Welcome back to another tutorial on Clue 3D and in this tutorial we are going to be talking about the modular library. Before we continue, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell to get more video. So let's begin. So this is the modular library which can help you with um, pattern. That's if you are not good in drawing pattern in Clue 3D, this is what the modular library can help you to do. So um, you can just select man, then let's select, let's start with t-shirts for those of us that like uh that wants to start a t-shirt brand or any type they want to do so these are different color neck for um t-shirt so let's assume you want to select let's pick the common one uh let's select this round here. so what you do is just double click on it as you can see this is it here and then you can just double click on the short sleeves which one you want and then you are good to go but then if you want to probably make it i'm i'm sure it's looking like quite too tight you can just probably select this and select this and let's go to the shrinkage weft and let's see by 110 if it's going to be fine i can simulate it yeah if you are not fine with that you can always increase it with the shrink rate. You can also select this too. Let's turn off the simulation. You can also select the t-shirt. And also select 110. So these uh, features increase the um, t-shirt the by the side. Like it makes it um, baggy by side. So this is it. And also if you want to make it longer, you can just select this and select uh, 110 you can see so this is it here you can see this is cool so that's just one part of um using the um modular library so i'll give you another um another option of using the modular library which can also help you with your design or your process work okay let's try something else again with the modular library so let's delete the t-shirts and yes delete template then we can just go to let's go back to okay let's say we want to create a button t-shirt there are two different kind of t-shirts here let's select this other t-shirt so we have the button t-shirt here and long sleeve and short sleeve you can select the shorts then is i think it's very easy so you can select just drag the slider select this yes you can select the uh, body plate that's for the back you can see that's for the back the body plate for the back so you can select the kind of body plate you want let's assume let's select this you can see and i'm can assure you that it's fully stitched you can see it's stitched so you don't need to draw the stitches so let's let me select q so the ham this is short sleeves if you want short long sleeve this is it here so you can just select the kind of short sleeves you want, short sleeve you want, sorry. So select this, as you can see, this is it here. And um, you can pick the kind of color you want. There's the half color and there's the full color, you can see. So pick it, let's select the first one. And now you are good to go. And I can show you that everything is fully staged. This is it now. So you don't need to simulate anything. So what you just need to do now is to just make a necessary adjustment, probably using the shrink cage weft and the shrink cage uh, weft to adjust the size, probably make it bigger and add your fabric here. And just uh, that, that is just how to use the um, modular library as a beginner if you are not good with drawing pattern. So thank you for watching this tutorial on Clo3D. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get more videos.